Vale. Vale, vale, es que no podemos hacer esta todavía. Claro, yo ya lo digo, ¿qué coño? Claro, es que es continuando la, la campaña principal. ¿eh? Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero G brew with some spectrum vodka if you're lucky, purple berry shake if you're not. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. Yeah. Well, my blood type is AB positive. I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Oh, come on. That stuff's boring. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. No complaints here. Intenté llevarme bien. Vale. Ah, 
Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Justamente es su misión. Thanks again for setting me up with Sebastian. Is there anything else I can help you with? You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. You can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. We're not keen on rules for rules sake around here. Means Braxton skips work sometimes, but it also means no company boss is telling me when I can take a shit. These MSI types are living the dream. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra jugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? this again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grim his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer too. Damn right it is. It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. No, I paid Sublight for it, so it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Sure can if you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. I got a feeling you and Catherine would get on like tumors on a pig. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Get this. Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. He and his whole crew walk out. say they won't come back unless I pay them more. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. Oh, 
Stealing's such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we used for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton shifts. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the Saltuna, fat and mostly tumor free. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. You know, I hadn't thought of it that way. Last thing I need is Catherine mailing even farther up my ass than she already is. <sighs> Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise, but I need them back here immediately. Perfecto. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was gonna spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Hello, dearie. Why, well, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Uh, quite the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Yes, indeed. Someone's got to keep Stella Bay's people healthy and energized. Oh, but I am. <laughs> I get to see plenty of my neighbors here, and I do dearly love a little gossip. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest tossball games. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. Darlings? 
Seriously? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, you're looking at the darling's newest recruit. Boss is a shoe in for rookie of the quarter. I'd heard they'd gotten a new hacker. Is that why everyone's making such a fuss about you? But what are you doing on Monarch? <laughs> Maybe we're not so isolated as I thought. You could oh, listen to games all day. Stellar Bay really is a paradise. It's pretty swell, but it's a whole lot better with company. Say, I don't think I've seen you before, and I'd remember that face. I'll try not to be a stranger then. Name's Felix, by the way. You should stop by more often. The games are always better when you've got someone to celebrate with. Sounds like a good time. I wouldn't mind bringing a couple drinks and settling in for the pennant match. Look at me, getting carried away again. So, what can I do for you? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. Right, so the thing with Isaac is he didn't know where to stop. He'd get stuck on something, and he just couldn't let it go. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader, other times he'd keep... Yo por eso me he callado, eh. yo he hecho la clásica de, de buen amigo. Ve, ver a un colega que está haciendo tal, tú... Calladito. I don't know for sure. But I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Uy, no me cure, gaste una cura. No. Vale. Sounds like rap to me. Oh, it does work. I bought some. What are the chances of all the times and places? Yeah. Well, well. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drinks on me, stranger. Coño, gracias. Enjoy. If you plan on sitting through Nioka's stories, you might could use a few. I could use a few and tell it them myself. Now what can I do for you? Anyone who spends any amount of time in this bar is bound to get to know Nioka. On account of her being here so often herself. And I don't mean that unkindly. Anyone who's rid us of as many beasts as you have is entitled to a few drinks. Something else I can do for you? Ah, bueno, ¿sabes una cosa buena también que tiene el Game Pass? Que como. Como funciona mi canal, que es a excedente, ¿vale? Yo en un día grabo para día. Y pico. Llegará un momento en el que si no me merece la pena eh, seguir pagando Game Pass, yo tendré mucho tiempo de contenido de Game Pass aún así y seguiré ganando dinero gracias a Game Pass técnicamente. <ríe> But it had a fancy ring to it. Name's the first advertising anyone sees, after all. Nope. But a man can dream. <laughs> 